This church in Mejorada del Campo near Madrid is known well beyond the borders of Spain as one which is never likely to be finished. Former monk Justo Gallego started building the church 50 years ago and has dedicated his life to it. At 85, he's still on the site every day. My love of Christ means I will go to the end of the world. People get tired and bored because they have no ideals. They haven't given themselves to Christ, the Creator. We are the temple of God. We'll see if they understand, and this message reaches Europe and Germany. Gallego entered a Benedictine monastery as a young man, but he had to leave after contracting tuberculosis. He survived the disease and started building a church to show his gratitude. That was in 1961. He does have some help. You have to straighten that out. Give me the gloves, I'll do it myself. Gallego has never had any formal training as a builder. He taught himself everything he knows. There's also no real plan. The church looks half finished, like the central dome modeled on St. Peter's in Rome. And this tower, which one day will carry a cross. The work is financed by donations. Most of the materials, like bricks, tiles, and girders, are second hand. Local construction firms deliver the scrap once or twice a week for free. Many locals support the do-it-yourself architect. I just do it. I can't say exactly how it works. It comes from deep within me. I can't explain. Do you understand? Look around. You can see that it works. I just express what I have in my heart. Gallego wants his church to be beautiful and colorful. That's why he loves working on his stained glass windows. He has one faithful helper, Angel Lopez. This is intricate work with colorful shards of glass from panes that were donated and broken up. I decide which style the windows will be in. I like the Romanesque, round style the most. I don't like the other things. I draw a circle with a compass on a cardboard, use half of that as an arch, and use that to make a perfect window. Architects like Rafael Llamasares from Madrid have a keen interest in this unusual construction project. He won't give any guarantees on the safety of the building, but he says it's impressive. The fact that one man, not an architect or an engineer, has been able to build something so powerful and that the building has been bearing its own weight for years without collapsing, that's something special. More and more people are coming to visit the church. The tourists mean more donations for the building work. The fame has also seen Justo Gallego appearing in TV ads. His celebrity means people also want a snapshot with him. It's really impressive. For one man to build all that, impressive. A man who builds a cathedral has a lot of power. And even if some people call him crazy, I think he's a visionary. <laughs> Maybe it is mad, but it's a great idea. He has built a monument to his faith, and I wish him all the best. This is what the cathedral should look like when it's finished. A graphic designer created this 3D model, which is available for 20 euros on DVD. And of course, that money goes towards the project. Look at these beautiful towers. Like in a castle? How high will they be? 50 meters. So far, the towers are 33 meters tall. It could take decades to finish the church, and it's unlikely that Gallego will see that happen. But that doesn't bother him. 
Yo tengo que empezar. I can't keep saying I'll do this and that and then that. I'll just get on with it and see how far I get. It'd be vain to want to finish it and be famous. I'll get as far as I can. That's it. In his will, Justo Gallego has promised the church to the Catholic Diocese of Alcalá. But they don't want the responsibility. At least his trusty helper, Ángel López, wants to continue the work. <laughs> 